What is up, party people? My name is Daryl, and today we're gonna be doing a quick review on a new page builder called Brizzy. Now, right now we're like in the era of page builders. You know, there's Elementor, there's Divi, there's Brizzy, there's Thrive Themes, there's all sorts of new page builders coming out. In fact, a lot of the themes are introducing their own page builders as well. And Brizzy is one of those contenders. Now, I use Brizzy for maybe around two hours and maybe about an hour, and that was enough for me to say this page builder is nothing short of amazing. Now, uh, this again is a free page builder. It's available on the WordPress repository. They do have a pro version, but I'll talk more about that pro version a little bit later at the end of this tutorial. Now, let me just show you all how this page builder works and basically just give you a quick overview of this page builder. So right here, I'm gonna go to edit page with Brizzy. Now, the page builder is very similar to kind of like Elementor, where you click on like the, the you make the page and you click on uh, Brizzy. I'll go ahead and show you in just a little bit. But um, this page builder, what I've noticed about it is kind of a combination of Divi and it's also kind of a combination of Elementor. So right here we have inline editing. Now that's great. So if you want to change text, you know, you can go ahead and change it right here really fast. You can, you know, make any changes you want. You can add a link to it. You can change like the alignment, the text, the font, all sorts of stuff with inline editing. Uh, also what I noticed is that they have a lot of features for like their buttons and all sorts of other cool stuff. So here is a button and let's say for example, you want to make it small, medium or large. You can also have a transparent background or you can have a filled background. You can also change the quarters, the corners uh, right here. You can go on and kind of go ahead and mess around with the, the border radius and also the icons. In fact, there is over 4,000 different icons in this page builder. So right here, if you want to go ahead and, you know, mess around with the icons, you can do that. They have different categories. Um, you know, the sky's the limit, you know? So that's basically a quick rundown of some of the features that I've seen with Brizzy. But let's talk about like how this page builder actually works and how you can add sections to it. So this right here is my landing page. And this section right here controls um, various uh, parts of the page. Now this block right here will actually give you the ability to make it a slider. So right here we have the make it a slider and you can kind of add different pages in there and it'll continually slide whatever you want. So right here, I just have one obviously, but if I wanted to add something else, I can just go ahead and put that in there as well. Uh, going back over here, we have this section right here where you can go ahead and add in your image. And you can also kind of control what part of the image you want uh, visible on your background right here. Flotsam has a very similar interface. So Flotsam has this kind of same thing. So they're kind of like mix and matching. They're like getting like the best of the page builders and they're kind of adding it all together. Here we have the parallax effects. Yes, so we have a fixed parallax effect or we have an animated parallax effect or you can have none. So. You know, if you want to add parallax, you can go ahead and add it in. So for example, right here, you can see the parallax effect is enabled. Um, another thing I liked about this page builder is they have the overlay effect. So over here, we have an overlay effect. So if you want to go ahead and add in an overlay to any part of a module, you can go ahead and do that right there. You can also change the dots, the borders and the arrows as well. So right here you have the arrows and you have the dots and you can go ahead and change those to whatever color you want. Now also, let's say you do a lot of hard work and you want to save this. You can just click on save right here and you can actually save that to your library and you can use it for later. Uh, the other things right here, you can change this to uh, box or width. Sorry, my throat's hurting. I, I had those wasabi peanuts. Those things are, those things are tough, really tough. Uh, you can also change it to full height to make it like full screen. Uh, they also have more settings right here where you can adjust the padding. Now, the great part about the padding and the margin with this page builder is that you can actually see everything that you're doing. So right here, you can kind of see the padding. You can visibly see it. Or you can go ahead and add a border on this top left right here. You can see there is a border effect right there. And then you can go in the advanced and you can set the Z index. If you don't know what Z index is, it's basically a priority. It has to do with CSS. I mean, they could have left it out, I think, because maybe people don't know what Z index is. And um, also they might want to add in the CSS ID as well, besides the CSS class. But again, this page builder just came out. So we're going to go ahead and give them the benefit of the doubt here, right? So uh, another thing that I really liked about this page builder is this right here. This is a direct feature of Divi. However, it is not on Elementor. So again, they are kind of, you know, mix and matching some of the best features and they are adding it to uh, this, pa this page builder. Another thing right here is if you want to go ahead and add a new section, they have this plus section. This is very similar to Divi. And now we have the blocks very similar to Elementor. Again, they have really capitalized on both page builders. And I think that this company out here really deserves some recognition. So let's just say you want to add in a new section. I want to say, ah, I want to add in this section right here. There you go. You got a new section. 
Now, another really nice feature about this is that if you want to change the padding right there, it will actually just auto adjust. I mean, look at that. So right here we have two sections and now you can actually change it by percentage. You know, other page builders, you have a um, like a, uh, a certain structure, but this right here will actually give you the ability to change the columns to any, uh, any sort of percentage that you want. With the other page builders, you actually have to use the preset blocks. So if it's like three by three by three, you'll have to you know use those and you can always change it, but this right here makes it really easy. Uh, if you wanna go ahead and edit these sections, you have this section right here. And again, these are virtually the same sections. Um, you know, if you wanna add an, an overlay, if you wanna uh, add an image behind it, um, over here, you can go ahead and add in another section if you choose to do that. Or you can go ahead and just duplicate the entire row just like the other page builders as well. So scrolling down here. And again, if you wanna go ahead and make changes, you can always just make changes to it really fast and really simple. So the page builder itself is really, really good. You know, I, I, I was really surprised because they sent me an email, they're saying, hey, can you check it out? I'm looking, I'm like, uh, you know, and then I look, used it and I was like, whoa, this thing is pretty good. Now right here, we have different options. We have add elements and they have up to is it three, six, nine, 12, 15. They got a lot of elements. They have maybe like 21 elements. It is also WooCommerce compatible as well. Over here, we have reorder blocks. Now, instead of like, you know, dr dragging and dropping it on the screen, you can just go ahead and drag it right here. And then you can kind of make your website <laughs> right here from this uh, reorder block section. So let's say I wanna go ahead and add in this right here. It's like, yeah, I think this will be fit right here. You know, something like that, you know. I think that's not too, you know, that's tacky, but you know, you just, you get the point, you know. The fact is that you, you can reorder the whole website uh, right here with this reorder block section. Over here, styling. Now this is great. So this is kind of like a global feature. So right here, uh, all your paragraphs will come on this sort of fonts, this size, weight, color, et cetera. And for a heading one text, you know, if you use H1, you can just go ahead and set it right here. So basically you're saying, I want all the H1 texts to be something like Roboto and I want it this size, et cetera. So adding, you know, messing around with that, uh, you can really, you know, make sites really fast because you can kind of just set like, I want my heading one text, this font, this color, heading two, because for example, if you have like a blog, you might want the blog to have different uh, color, maybe even different fonts, you know, depending on what kind of, um, you know, site you're building, et cetera. And then over here we have the mobile and we have the uh, mobile uh, optimization as well. So you can just go ahead and optimize it for mobile right here. So um, I used it for about an hour and I really liked it. Now they also have the WooCommerce ability as well. So let me just go ahead and show you that feature as well. Whoops, let's get out of this mode. Oh, another thing that I, um, I mean, there's a lot of things I'm, I, I can't mention in this review, but um, a lot of the things that's, I saw about this as well is that it sort of um, has the ability to have like its own theme builder as well, just like Elementor. Now, if you don't like that theme builder and you kind of want your theme to kind of um, adjust with the page builder, you can do that as well right here under uh, Brizzy template and default. So the default will basically say, I want the theme to kind of act, you know, I don't want to just use the, the theme builder and take over the whole website. So by adding in the Brizzy template, that is very similar to the Elementor canvas where you're just uh, erasing all of the theme and only the page builder. But with the default, you can kind of use the theme settings with your theme as well. And then right here, plugin settings, you can kind of adjust roles. So right here, excluding roles and then post types as well, uh, post products and pages as well. So uh, that's all the options there is in Rizzy. So uh, if you actually download the plugin, this, this is basically all you get right here. You know, you get, you get these options right here. So uh, it's a very small amount of options, but you don't really need that many options because let's be honest, it's a new page builder and um you know we got to give them time to grow so let's just say i want to go ahead and add in some uh, products let's say i want to go ahead and add in something right here now i want to actually use the modules I'm, i don't want to use the blocks anymore they have some very well designed blocks and templates but i want to go ahead and say you know it's i kind of want to use uh, the blocks right here so right here i'm gonna click on this and i'm gonna add a blank block so we have two sections right here but i only want one so i'm gonna go ahead and delete one now over here we have different icons. So we have different things. You can kind of just drag them in, you know, like the, the text. Now, another thing that I really liked about Brizzy is that it gives you a placeholder whenever you want to drag a product, or I'm sorry, a product, a, a module. So for example, we have the icon right here. Now you see right here how it already highlights the gray. So it's basically telling you where you can go ahead and put this little, um, this, this module right here. So right here, I can just go ahead and drop it. 
and there there you go and then of course right here you can always go and change the settings you can change the style etc but whenever you're trying to drag something all you need to do is just remember that uh, there is those little um, gray lines and that basically uh, tells you where you can go ahead and put in that element so right here we have uh, this text module and um, let's just say I want to go ahead and delete it you know because I want to go ahead and add in some uh, WooCommerce products so right here I'm gonna go ahead and scroll down now right here now products and product so I think that is going to be products because I think I uploaded three products and then there you go so we have three products and then of course you might want to adjust it now you can also have different settings here you can kind of adjust the um, the columns you can adjust the product count you can adjust the image size etc so the when I use this I kind of felt that I was like wow this is pretty cool you know I think that this is something that I could you know possibly look into in the future and maybe even do tutorial on um, but it is still a premature uh, page builder. There are some things that I think they might want to add. But, I mean, nonetheless, I mean, it, it, it's it's great. You know, I, I got to say, like, this is a great free page builder. And uh, I would say this is a direct competitor with something like, um, you know, Divi and Elementor. Now, let's go to their website. So this is their website right here. And uh, they do have a pro version coming out. Um, it's not out yet, but you can go ahead and pre-order it. Uh, there is a link in the description if you decide to kind of purchase it. So right here, we can look at some of their pro features. They have dynamic content. They have premium designs. I'm assuming those are templates. Uh, they have the headers and footer section, third-party integration. So I'm assuming they're, they're collecting more developers to make more plugins for this. They have the pop-up builder, role manager, very similar to Elementor. Uh, the advanced forms and A-B testing, very similar to Divi. So uh, they do have a lot of um, uh, features that are packed in the pro version. Uh, it ranges from, I think, $0 to like $217. So I think the Brizzy Pro starts off at, oh, there is a, there's a, there's a counter. There is a counter. So the Brizzy Pro lifetime is $215. And, but the great thing is that you can use it on unlimited websites and there is no recurring fees at all. But again, you can always just use the free one. Uh, the free page builder, uh, the free one is, it, it'll do its job if you have a client that wants a website. Um, you can go ahead and just use Brizzy for that because it's it's a great free page builder. So again, if you want to go ahead and make a new page right here, I'm going to go to plus new page. And then here I'll put something like demo website. And then this is uh, the edit with Brizzy right here. I'm going to go ahead and publish this really quick. Now I want to show you one more thing, the template. So right here we have the Brizzy template, which I just used before. And we also have the default templates. Now for this tutorial, I am using the Astra theme. So you can use this with OceanWP, you can use it with Astra, you can use it with Generate Press, you can use it with any theme that you wanna use it with. Uh, right here, I'm gonna do full taint, uh, full width stretched. I want to disable the title and I'm going to click on updates. So before I used the Brizzy templates and now this one I am using the uh, the theme settings saying, you know, I, I don't wanna use the, 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 the whole page builder thing, you know? So right here, I can kind of just add some stuff in. I will just go ahead and add in this block. And I'll go ahead and add in this as well. There's also a dark version. So here, they're, they're basically the same thing. It's just a, a dark version. And then I'll add in this. And then lastly, let's say I want a footer. I can just go to footer right here and simply put in a footer right there. This is kind of a bad landing page. You know, I'm not going to lie. So you might not want to use this one as a landing page. You, know, you could, but this is not like a landing page. It's, it's for like, like the middle sections. So I clicked on update. It is taking a little while, but again, remember this is a brand new page builder that, that has hit the market. So you are going to see some bugs. You are going to see some, um, you know, some weird stuff happen. So right here, I'm gonna go to preview right here. And there is the page. Now I want to basically use my uh, Astra settings right here. So I'm gonna go back over here and go to edit page. I'll go over here and go to edit page. I'm going to go ahead and um, I'm going to go ahead and preview this. Let me tell you what. I'll just go ahead and yeah, preview it. How do I get out of here? Is it back to WordPress? Here we go. Back to WordPress. Oh, I use the Brizzy template. That's why. Okay, so I'm going to default templates and view the page. And there, there you go. So this is what I want to say basically. So right here, I have my menu. And then I also have my footer as well. I do have a sidebar here and that is really ugly. So I'm going to go ahead and just take out that sidebar right there. So right here, sidebar, no sidebar, content full stretched, and then update. So again, if you like to have your, your themes like menu and you like to have your themes of footer, um, you can keep it 
and um, you know it, it works perfectly fine it integrates really well I'm gonna keep my eye on this page builder I'm also gonna keep my eye on other ones like uh, I've seen thrive themes also have some new features but um, these page builders are making better and better products you know we're seeing a huge battle of products I'm sorry of, of page builders just competing with each other I mean all of them now have like the theme builder all of them have dynamic content and now you can you know decorate your category pages all sorts of stuff so again, uh, Brizzy, if you want to check out Brizzy, there is a link below in the description. You can also pre-order their pro version. I think that this is a very promising page builder. And um, if you're looking to switch over, if you don't like your current page builder, try out Brizzy. You know, it's a nice, very nice page builder, right? So um, I hope you all enjoyed this review. Let me know in the description what you think of this page builder in the comments below. All right, I will see you all later.